Let me show you what happens when we run that. So it wrote to the file corpus.pkl. If we did a really long crawl, we'd want to make sure that file is protected so we don't write it over again. And then if we ran the crawler the second time, now we get an error. Permission is denied, and we catch that exception and see the message. Let's take a little peek at what's actually in that file. And you can see that it's not impossible to make sense of. We don't really care what's in it as long as pickle load undoes what pickle dump does. What's in there could be anything. But we can see that it's stored the web corpus object. And we can see some of the contents we expect in there and lots of other stuff.